that this is especially important at this point when 2012 is being recognized as the year of the family. In this year, the year of the family, it is important that families work together and achieve together. For where there is harmony within the family, there will have a, we will have a happy and united nation. At that inauguration ceremony, returning council chairman Cecil Schillenford informed the community of his council's immediate plans for the new term, which includes a road rehabilitation project. In terms of the coming three years, our short-term focus until the end of, the, of this year will be on the village feast, community day of service, and the children's party and the elderly treat. While we work on these, we will be seeking to address the issues of garbage disposal and the Magua Road. The countries of the Caribbean community are observing Caribbean Youth Day this Sunday, September 30th, under the theme, Youth Harnessing Positive Energy for Caribbean Development. According to a press release from the Caribbean Youth Ambassadors, this theme is a call to positive action by youth as well as a plea for development of partnerships with and for youth. A number of activities have taken place in Dominica this week, which is Caribbean Youth Week. Two of those was the Orange Day Rally on Tuesday and the Shut Out Violence Song Competition, which took place here on Wednesday. Various youth districts across the island will be hosting events in their respective communities to commemorate Caribbean Youth Day. This Saturday, the Roseau District is holding a CARICOM discussion at the Youth Center and Portsmouth is doing it with sports. A one-day, one-goal football affair is planned for the Benjamins Park. And a parliamentary representative for the Pitt Savan constituency, Honorable Kenneth Daru, has publicly thanked his constituents for their support. The minister was speaking at Belvi Chopin's Village Council inauguration earlier this week when he told residents that their confidence in him is encouraging. How both challenging and rewarding it has been for me, to me rather, as a first time parliamentarian. Challenging because of the transition I've had to make in assuming my new responsibilities as a politician. And rewarding because I can honestly say that I am satisfied with the effort I've put into my role thus far. And on this note, I would like to take this opportunity to reach out and thank each and every one of you who in one way or another have supported me through my tenure so far as your pal rep. Your many text messages, phone calls, cards, encouraging words, and even smiles have gone a long way into helping me make it thus far. And for this, I am grateful and look forward to your continued support. Honorable Darrow also requested of his constituents that they remain faithful to him since he intends to continue the work set before him. I recognize the needs of many, and I also recognize that it's an uphill climb, especially in view of the current global financial situation. But I believe if we work together, we can achieve great things. And as I always do, let me take this opportunity to appeal to the constituents to stay true to your representative. I promise I to try my best to take you to that next level, and that promise is still, still stands true. And the people involved in the craft industry met on Thursday to discuss ways of improving productivity in art and craft sector in Dominica. The brainstorming meeting was called by the Invest Dominica Authority. The Invest Dominica Authority has been working closely with the Dominica Manufacturers Association, of which the Dominica Art and Craft Producers Association is a part, to increase productivity and market share for people involved in arts and craft. We realize that there are a number of arts and craft personnel in Dominica, um, all of whom have various issues that they have been dealing with over the past years with arts and craft, whether it's funding or marketing or issues of quality or training, uh, access to technology, things of that nature. Um, because Invest Dominica works closely with the Dominica Manufacturers Association, of which the Arts and Craft Association is a, is a, is a member. Um, we chose to work with the DMA and DACPA to improve the situation with Arts and Craft in Dominica. 
President of the Dominica Art and Craft Producers Association, Francis Richards, is encouraged by the interest shown by the Invest Dominica Authority to advance the island's art and craft industry. We thought it was a good opportunity to find a way to revisit and link up with the, the actual and the potential arts and crafts persons on island. And I want to take the opportunity right now to say thanks very, very much to the Invest Dominica Authority under the directorship and the control of um, at least for the, that, that particular sex sector or segment, Mrs. Lita, who were able to mobilize the staff to work with us. Linford Guthrie, president of the recently revitalized Manufacturers Association, is optimistic about the potential for the export of local craft items. The craft industry is a vital element of Dominica's manufacturing sector, which is linked to our tourism products in addition to bright export prospects and good local demand. It means therefore that there is a window of opportunity for your locally made quality crafts by craftsmen and craftswomen who are looking to make a livelihood out of the business. Eisenhower Douglas represented Trade Minister Honorable Colin McIntyre at Thursday's craft industry meeting. Mr. Douglas spoke of government's plan to assist the craft association to be elevated. Mr. Douglas is hoping that the craft producers will take advantage of the small business policy now being developed. In Dominica currently, we are putting together a small business policy so that the whole, because fundamentally what you are are small business people. So there needs to be a policy on small business and we already have a draft document on that. I really hope and pray that we can have it finalized before the year comes to close, this year comes to close, so that the cabinet can make a decision on it one way or you know the other. And of course the craft, this is an opportunity for the craft, you know, producers, arts and craft to be part and parcel so that we're not, we're not overlooking this, the craft, um, arts and craft producers in any way. Douglas has advised local craft producers to take advantage of regional initiatives such as the Caribbean Single Market and Economy, the CSME. Honorable Reginald Austri, who was representing the Prime Minister at the recent inauguration of the Bellevue Chope Village Council, stressed the importance of caring for the elderly. The minister stated that caring for the island's senior citizens is more than the occasional one-day social affair. We have to take care of our elderly. And I'm happy to know that as part of your program is a treat for the elderly. But I'd like us to see us going more than a treat for the elderly. I'd like to see us talking about care for the elderly. The treat can come once a year, but the care has to be 365 days a year. Those are the persons who blazed the trails, and those are the persons who made Bellevue Chopin what it is today and now. And we have to pay some homage and some recognition. And it's not because they are children, not because they are children in America. They are not their children. No matter what they come, where they come from, as long as there is need and there is a need to look after our elderly, we have to take care of the elderly of our community. Honorable Austri also spoke of the consequence of neglecting children. He said parents should pay enough attention to their children in order to stop deviant behavior at the earliest stage. And finally, this news time, Helen Roye, acting permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health, believes that disaster and emergency medical response is an issue that should be given more attention by stakeholders. Roye was addressing the graduation ceremony of 20 fire officers who successfully completed a two-week emergency medical responders course administered by the Ministry of National Security and the Caribbean Emergency Response Training Academy, CERTA. Roye emphasized that the entire country could benefit from adequate emergency preparation. National response has to be afforded priority attention by all. We must develop multi-sectoral policies to address emergency response, and I hope that other ministries will emulate this initiative. This will definitely assist us in developing healthy individual, family, and community initiatives with access to healthcare and with the knowledge and resources to know what to do to care for themselves and others in both routine and emergency situations. 
Royer noted that the Ministry of Health is pleased that attention was paid to the possibility of emergency medical situations arising with pregnant women. Securing of our nation's health is a formidable task and must be a responsibility that is broadly shared among virtually all segments of society. Emergency preparedness should reflect current approaches and priorities for improving our nation's ability to prevent, prepare for, respond to, recover from a major health incident. And that's the English segment of the news. We now join Macpherson St. Louis for the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à cette nouvelle en Creole. Non moins, c'est Macpherson St. Louis. Premièrement, acte ministère pour sécurité nationale, honorable sénateur Alvin Bernard, ni bon avis pour officier d'IFE et puis ambulance, qui tape tuinement pendant le cours de l'année de travail à l'année. Plusieurs ces officiers-là recevront ce certificat après avoir participé à l'entraînement plus bon de semaine semaine. Le mot de l'année, il y a des gens qui sont des officiers qui sont bien sérieux. Il y a des gens qui sont des gens qui tape plus haut, plus haut max avec et mon il fait uh, instructors course là. Now, tout, yo tout cas c'est un monde qui bien sérieux, sérieux. Avec moi uh, confiance, yo que porter ça plus loin à travailler, mais moi ani le avis yo, um, ba yo avis tout pour continuer avec uh, continuer faire travailler avec uh, dignité, quand yo la coutume. En autre nouvelle, il y a une conférence de jour qui était en Dominique Semen Salam où la discussion tient pour faire Dominique une meilleure destination pour les visiter, taper bon succès. Parole Salah, sorti au ministère qui a une responsabilité pour les affaires touristes, Honorable Ian Douglas. Selon Honorable Douglas, la conférence n'a pas stakeholders industry tourists, opportunité pour discuter des choses qui ont été affectées. Quand même, confronte cela, voit un lot qui est bien nécessaire ou la mise mise en place pour adresser. Plusieurs organisations participent en parmi ECA, Association Hotel Dominique, Discover Dominique Authority, Caribbean Tourism Organization et puis Secretariat OECS. Quand même, consultant et puis Discover Dominique Authority Ian Bertrand fait parole qui a discuté des affaires pour oui ouvrir basse à Vio Kenfield, bagay qui a été soulagé well pour la Dominique. Bertrand fait parole qui est bien nécessaire de chaîne, coopération et puis agence voyage à donc un mani pour faciliter les voyager pour la Dominique. En d'autres nouvelles, l'association Combine Taxi Incorporated a mis en place 20 membres pour la saison pour ces entourages neuf qui ont ouvert tout de suite. Parole Salah, sorti hors officier de relations publiques association là, Curtis Labasser. À Dominique, c'est vrai, Taurus Industry là, qui porte en tête par bas, mais ce n'est pas PC qui a fait ça, nous pas à mouter. Industry Tourist Dominique, c'est un bon industry. Il est mauvais temps, il est bien temps, il est actuel, il est à la terre, il est même garde, il est pas de gel à la terre, ou pas de gel à la terre, il est de faire de la terre et il est pas de spendre de la terre. Mais là, c'est ça, on est pour still equip pour faire des taxi opérateurs, même si. Il y a des touristes, 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 il y a Dès que ça dit, nous tapons plus de touristes, nous équipons. Nous tapons plus de touristes, nous still équipons. Et puis finalement, plusieurs pays ont qui ont observé la journée jeunesse dimanche qui vient. Si nous avons une parole qui sort du Hall de Caribbean Youth Ambassadors, nous avons fait une salle qui a créé la jeunesse pour faire des choses positives et pour faire une bonne relation entre nous pour le développement. 
Il y a une activité qui prend place pour la uh, semaine prochaine pour observer la uh, journée jeunesse de mon pays. Ça me dit qu'il y a une discussion assez carré comme en Wauzo. Et puis, il y a ce qui fait ça. Yo. Et puis, je pour. Merci, mesdames. Ça, c'est tout pour nos nouvelles créoles pour à présent. Non, moi, c'est Mac Fusson St. Louis. Ni au bon week-end. Au revoir. Thank you, Mac Fusson. Stay tuned for Flashback with Jonah Hector for the major stories of the week. Thank you, Tanya. Welcome to Flashback, where we bring you the headline stories of the week. Sunday saw the first item on the Independence calendar for this year, a day of prayer and thanksgiving for the island, and GIS News joined the Pebush Catholic Church last Sunday to commemorate the event. The Ministry of Tourism on Monday began work on the development of a current tourism policy and a review of the island's tourism master plan. The Ministry of Tourism is receiving support in this process from the European Commission to the Office of the National Authorizing Officer. Also this week, seven contestants have been chosen to represent their communities in the 2013 Miss Dominica pageant. The issue of access into Dominica was at the center of discussions when tourism stakeholders deliberated at a special two-day conference which began here on Tuesday. Come January 2013, all bakeries on the island will be required to label their products. The decision was announced following a training workshop held over the past few weeks when 20 local bakeries were instructed on how to upgrade their operations and internationally acceptable standards. Eight councillors took their pledges to serve when Bellevue Chopin's 5th Village Council was inaugurated on Wednesday and 20 fire officers of the Dominica Fire and Ambulance Service completed a two-week training course which addressed proper handling of emergency medical situations. Finally, the government of Dominica and the European Union continue to collaborate in developing the island's water sector. Both parties signed a new financing agreement under the 10th EDF Multi-Sector Support Program. Those are the headline stories making the news this week. Back to you, Tanya. Thank you, Jonna. Up next is the tip of the day. Hello, I'm Felix Anderson, afternoon, and I'm here to tell you why it's better to buy your bag bread looking like this and not like Jabasak, Apigina Puk, Akatina Bag. Come on, if it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Let me show you what I mean. Hello, ma'am. Can you tell me what's in that bag? So you're not seeing it's a brown bread? It looks like one, but you sure it's a brown bread? Eh? Your face looking like the brown bread. Brown and proud. If it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Bakers, consumers, and retailers, please ensure that all your bagged bakery products clearly display brand name, product name, batch number, net contents, country of origin, list of ingredients, expiry date, identification code, and other important information about the product. Check the Dominica Bureau of Standards for details. So, am I right or am I right? Today we'll share with you a few tips for writing a good resume. A tip for writing a good resume is to know the purpose of your resume. You should not write a resume as if the purpose of the document was to land a job. You may end up with a really long and boring piece that makes you look like a desperate job hunter. The objective of your resume is to land an interview and the interview will land you the job, hopefully. And that's National Focus. As usual, we invite your suggestions or comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis.dominica.gov.dm or you could visit our website at news.gov.dm. You could also visit the GIS Dominica pages on both YouTube and Facebook. On behalf of the entire news team, I'm your presenter, Tanya Green. Thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful weekend.